Hey everyone, this is Mark with Retail Investment Group. Today I spoke with Gary and Jake from Alignment Realty Capital. We discussed the current situation, how they foresee the next few weeks, and how they can help you out whether you are a landlord or a tenant. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and I hope you and your family are safe and well. Jake, Gary, thanks again for joining me with on this call. Um, I know how valuable time is these days, but I want to just dive right into it. Uh, what are you seeing today in the lending market and with your company at um, Alignment Realty? Yeah, I'm happy Jake, to take that. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is that things are just changing every day. You know, this morning, um, Fed Chair Jerome Powell was on the news on CNBC and came out and provided additional details and backing for uh, their $2.3 trillion program. And, um, you know, I think that's doing a lot for the small businesses. They've expanded and now are including businesses of you know, two and a half billion in revenue and under and 10,000 employees and under. Um, they've launched a Main Street lending program. They've launched lending opportunities for you know, municipalities and states. And so I think that um, you know, from the Fed and the Treasury, they're both very uh, encouraging that they say the, the, the spigot's not turning off anytime soon and that they're really going to be there to backstop um, the economy as long as they need to. Um, that may have some, some negative implications down the road. I think for the moment, the market certainly likes, likes that. Um, you know, I think that that's creating a bit of a backlog at some of the local banks. Um, it's been about a week since the PPP plan has been active. Um, and I think a lot of the local banks in particular um, have been backlogged and it's creating a kind of a clog in the system for all these new people that are flooding in as it's a first come first serve uh, process. And so you have a lot of people trying to come in and, and get their share of the pie. And, uh, yeah, and it seems that capital is going to come to the market sooner. There's a reaction and a, a response from the government and the capital markets sooner than what's going to happen with the uh, with the fundamentals, right? Like there's a lot of uncertainty around how the fundamental picture is going to come back into play. But uh, it seems like the, the the capital markets engine is in. Is, is doing what it can to, to function and, and, and get back to normalcy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, great. And, you know, based off of that, you know, what do you, what is kind of the forecast for, let's say the next week to month? Well, I think in the next week or so, you're still going to have a lot of people processing uh, these approvals from the government and, and the banks that, that have those, I would imagine they're in, dual mode of just dealing with their existing borrowers and and how to respond to potential uh, forbearance or um, you know any of these loans that are being offered and so existing assets and then just sort of processing these loans so I think we're in kind of a probably a holding pattern for for new things being approved I think it'll have it would have to be uh, a long-standing client on opportunities that were already being kind of put through the process. I think in terms of new things, uh, I don't think a lot's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Everything's changing so quickly um, and there's so much new fixes going in that people are going to be mostly focused on that. I would say too, as you've kind of gotten over the hurdle of the beginning of the month interest payments. I think you kind of now have from a landlord's perspective, you have kind of three weeks of planning mode to figure out what you're going to do uh, as you come up on your May interest payments. Um, so I think you're going to see a lot more uh, activity on the asset management side from the bankers and life companies and, and borrowers trying to figure out plans for the next few months of interest payments. And I we've seen through a lot of the calls that we've been on, different lenders are handling it different ways. Um, I think generally for the groups that have been out in front of the ball, that they've been pretty receptive and have been able to you know, structure an interest-only payment and defer the amortization or defer the payment completely and amortize it over the next two years, for example. Um, 
but I think the next few weeks is is going to be low on on new loans uh, and new applications outside of the PPP program um, as people kind of work through existing assets. Okay. Yeah. No, those are all very good points. Um, you know, everybody's dealing with a lot of uncertainty right now. And what is it that you guys can bring to the table to to help out? Well, we uh, provide capital to triple net opportunities. So uh, if you're a participant in the market, be it a tenant or um, a landlord or a broker who has clients on either side, uh, you know, liquidity and value are, uh, are important uh, factors in the market. And if you're a landlord and, and you need liquidity, or you're, you're, let's say you, you want to do a sale leaseback and you're a tenant in your own property that you own and you need liquidity for your operations, um, there, what we provide is uh, either enabling tenants to buy their own buildings or providing capital to buy buildings from tenants or other landlords, or, or we can um, participate in other parts of the capital structure, be it on the loan side um, or uh, providing mezzanine financing. So. Uh, it's really capital solutions to triple net opportunities and, and wherever you sit at the table, we're in a, a, a very unique and unusual environment and uh, new capital to the table can provide a solution and, and, and that's the market we play in. Yeah, I think Gary hit the nail on the head. I think the other important thing kind of outside of what alignment's trying to do is just, you know, what you guys are trying to do and educating people and making sure people are aware of the programs that are available. Um, and, you know, for a lot of these smaller companies, this is their livelihood. And so um, I think having calls like this is great so that they can figure out what opportunities are out there for them and, and hopefully allow them to stay open and, and get through this. Yeah. And I, you know, ultimately that is the, the goal is to keep the economy moving and, try to, you know, get this roadblock, turn it into a little speed bump and yeah. make sure we're better off long term. Uh, this isn't my quote, but the, the wise people are saying this too shall end. But, um, you know, making through it is going to be a, a function of the decisions that people make in the midst of this storm, so to speak. And, and that may be uh, finding uh, liquidity in your business or your real estate in, in some way, shape or form. And, and so, you know, it may be an opportune time to have those kinds of conversations with people.